Right, welcome back to another video, Twix T4, carrying on working on my van. So uh, if you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, ring the little bell, notifications every time I upload. Um, so we've done a leak down test, we've tested the injectors, we've checked the fuel pump, um, checked the timing, everything seems okay, that end. The leak down test, when I done that, wasn't very positive. We did have a leak in the intake on cylinder three, um, but the problem seems to be with cylinder two. Uh, I do have previous videos, so if you want to go back and check them out, uh, I'll leave a link in the description below of those videos. Um, but before I whip the head off, a couple of things I'm going to do first. First thing is, battery's on charge at the moment, and the bonnet's down because it keeps raining and the sun is out. No, no, very fine drizzle, I lied. So we leave it as it is at the moment. You know, once it stops raining, I do the compression test. Then I've got some brake cleaner, and I'm going to clean the back of the block off, get the worst of the oil and crud off, and then heads off. Right, so I just connected the battery up, and I think I've got a loose connection here. Look at that. You hear it? Yep. Something else that needs to be sorted out. Dodgy connection. So this is what I've just made up, a little spade connector, a bit of wire, and that's going to go from the starter motor to the battery. Makes it easier for me doing the compression test, then I can see the gauge in front of me, and just reach across. Happy days. Right, let's go do this compression test. Put a rag down here over the um, inject, injection pump. Yeah, just put a rag over the fuel injection pump there. Just in case any diesel does decide to come out. Right, so that's reading 15, 16. Right, so I wrote down on the piece of cardboard here um, what the pressures were. 
So you can see cylinder one, 17 bar, drops a lot for uh, cylinder two, four bar, then back up to 17 bar, cylinder three, although I'm gonna have to go through the footage now. Um, but I'm pretty sure cylinder three was quite slow building up pressure. Uh, cylinder four again quite low and cylinder five. Um, so cylinders one, three and five are all the same, even though cylinder three was a little bit slow getting up to compression. Hmm. Right, I'm gonna go uh, watch the footage, start doing some editing, because it's absolutely hammering it down. And uh, when it stops raining, we'll clean the back of the engine and we'll whip the head off. Oh, also, just wanted to say before I disappear, um, the van, I think it should be 24 bar. So yes, it may be saying that it's low. However, um, the gauge on the compression test kit may not be 100% accurate. So just using this, just, you know, ballpark figure, we can see visually that two cylinders are low regardless of the pressure. So, more investigating.